Hey folks, what's up? Welcome back to another Pole Master video. Now that we uh, checked out Mr. Uh, Ingo and Excel World, let's check out Diamond and the Scavenger. Because here's the thing. Uh, and, and why I'm not super excited about Ingo's kid, even though he's a bug zone setter, right? It's just that Ingo doesn't really help um, a lot of the bug type damages in the game, right? Uh, outside of. He sets bug zone, but like all the other stuff he does doesn't really help them because he's like a physical defense debuffer, right? And a lot of the best, you know, bug type damages uh, are special, right? Lizmean special, all their special, Berg special, right? All that stuff. And and obviously Guzman's not that good. And I guess the Egg Scythe is also special as well, right? So that was why I was slightly disappointed in him, but, 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 as you would probably guess, and I would probably guess, I think he probably couldn't be working, you know, super well with, uh, it's, it's, it's Cavalier. <laughs> I think that's how you pronounce it, right? Uh, Emmett, right? So, you know, twins and all that, whatever, you know, gimmick they, they do. So, uh, let's check it out. Hopefully they do work well together. All right, so, Emmett, special costume, bug of weak versus fire all right it's a physical striker so Emmett got the striker again and Ingo got the uh the unit to support the striker right just like the uh the, the, the original you know pair so that's cool uh as for the stats defense special defense HP are all L's again each striker doesn't really matter that much uh, speed's also pretty much an L unfortunately right uh 248 speed is not good speed uh, 390 attack however is a lot of you know attack right pretty nice attack so let's move on to the moves mega horn no additional effects just a four gauge low action move that's really really nice all right the base power is really good so solid move mega horn iron defense for some some reason and sword stance for some reason what why did you give him sword stance on iron defense man what <laughs> This is just a much, much worse Summer Mar Marnie, you know, thing, I guess. O okay. Um, safety first applies move gauge acceleration effect to the ally field of play. That's good. Raise uses, because he's very, very slow, so that's really, really nice. Raise uses accuracy by two ranks. Raises, uh, applies super effective up next to the user. Raises physical moves up, uh, next. Okay, so you get physical moves up, super duper effective, well, super effective up next. Huh. Well, hopefully there's some way to get... Uh, I was just about to say... Um, hopefully there's a way for him to get crit. And there it is. Critical uh, Affliction 9. Uh, oh, okay, I guess. Uh, that's gonna be awkward, isn't it? That's gonna be slightly awkward. Because... Well, what you want to do is you want to sword stance three times before you sink, right? But then you don't get this. So you don't get super effective up, and you don't get, you know... Well, I mean, this doesn't matter if we move up next. Well, it does matter, though! Because I don't really like using non-attack moves after you sink. Because, you know, because you should be using this stuff before you sink. Right? So, if you're three turns swords dancing, then you can't use this. And you can't have the super effective up applied to your sync move. Right? Huh. Unless, I guess, you just don't sync with him? But he has Rising Tide over here, which is a very, very good sync nuke multiplier, by the way, right? It's a very good sync nuke multiplier. Huh, that's a bit awkward. Uh, Mighty Affliction 2 looks nice, though. Right? Oh, status move. Never mind. I thought it was going to be... Oh, I thought you'd get it when you use Me Meghorn. It's just status moves. It's still not bad, though. Still not bad. Um, Critical Affliction. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I, I don't know about this one. Uh, I mean, it's not, it's not like a huge knock against him. You could just run like another support, I guess. But like, kind of sucks. He can't do it in three turns, right? All right, let's check out the grid. Uh, we have attack plus 30. Look at that. Another one of these. <laughs> Iron defense move gauge refresh. Oh, oh, hopefully, ho oh, hopefully. There we go. Sword stance berserker one. That's what I like to see. Okay, the grid is very, very good for this then. Uh, sync level three. That's fine. Um, 
But yeah, yeah, this, okay, this makes it so you could just double sword stance, train to move, sync. That's good, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. I like that, I like that. Um, charging infliction, charge users may move gauge by, by, by two when it's Pokemon use stats. What? Okay. <laughs> Does this have it too? Oh. 10 energy? Really? Why don't you just go rob a bank? Oh, wait. It's a, it's a, it's a gotcha game. Same thing. Anyways. <laughs> Negor move gauge refresh, safety first, MP refresh. That's whatever. Uh, snow shelter, sand shelter. For what? Headstrong, unbending, vigilance, sharp entry. Hmm. Yeah, you don't really need it though. You don't really need sharp entry. You can just double sword stance. And then uh, it's. Yeah, Pokemon Earth Trainer. Yeah, you don't need sharp entry. What? Tough cookie. Oh, so that's why it has iron defense. Oh, man. Yeah, really would have been nice if you just had what Summer Marnie had instead, then. Just, you know, bulk up with, like, double buff, whatever it's called, right? Sync freebie. Charging Infliction. Bronze Sync 2? That's so weird. Tough Sync 3. Okay. I mean, he's... Could... He... No, no, no. He could be a really nice, you know... Um, striker nuker, right? He could definitely be a very, very nice striker nuker. And look, look. Um, again, the ideal situation would have been if he straight up just had what Marnie had, right? With bulk up, with the the with the double buff. What if, what was it called again? The double buffing thing. Uh, but you know, it is what it is. You could just just run another support, get him the uh the the the, the defense, and um, you know, whatever else. Something like a. Fall Caitlyn would be really, really nice over here, right? Run Fall Caitlyn over here. And actually... Actually, no. You probably want to use Iron Defense instead. You probably want to use Iron Defense with, um... With Shielding Strikes here. So you max out your defense with, and then have the Tough Cookie, right? And then sink, and then you run, like, a Physical Support. So you could also buff uh, Ingo's stats as well, right? Ingo, so... You know, this quick attack could do some damage, hopefully. <laughs> or nuke with Ingo, because Ingo does obviously have the better nuke, right? Uh, he looks okay. Again, there are some things that I really like. I like the might, mighty affliction too. That is that. That's nice. I like the fact that he has a uh, super effective up and physical move up next over here. Move acceleration is good. Uh, Megaforge is gonna be really, really good damage because it's a high BP move, right? Mm. Everything else. I mean, he's gonna be nice with Ingo. I was, I don't know. I, I was just slightly expecting them to fit a bit better together. Again, Ingo does give him the speed that he wants, right? Gives him the, um, the, the, the obviously bug zone defense debuffs, but. It's just that he doesn't really have anything else, so I guess you need all of those over there, which is fine, right? Which is fine. Um, I don't know. He looks solid. He looks solid, right? We'll have to see the calculation, see how much uh, damage he does over here, but uh, he definitely looks solid at the moment, right? So, yeah, there's that, I guess. There's that. Um, could he be potentially stronger than Alder? I don't know. Maybe. I mean, Tough Cookie's a better multiplier than um overpower so there's that right at least uh what's all there's what's all their stats 370 i think he's 372 or is it 390 or something like that 390 right 390 370 harbor beam 223 ah yeah hyper beam just hyper beam's different man <laughs> hyper beam's just built different <laughs> Hyper Beam's just built different. Oh, well. Well, he does have the super effective up and, you know, physical move up next, right? Uh, I think Alder probably has more consistent damage. Well, he could have, like, a really, really big one, right? If you get, uh, get a solid amount of these physical move up next. But, uh, yeah. Um, oh, he should probably also be the better nuke or so. There's, there's, there's that, I guess. So, he looks good. He looks good. He's, uh, probably, you know, up there. In terms of, you know, best bug strikers, right? Although, again, that list is not very long. It's just, like, him and Alder, right? But still, 
uh, he looks solid. He definitely looks good. So that's good. That's good. That's good. I, I like his outfit colors, by the way. The 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 gray over. Oh my! I can't stand this guy's face, but whatever. Um, but like the I don't know. I like the colors on his outfit. But anyways, <laughs> I don't like him. I'm sorry. It's okay if you guys like him. I just don't. <laughs> that's me in this one, I guess. I uh, hope you all enjoyed. Like guys, think in the comments down below. Like so, this finished on channel for some more upon mouse content. Good, solid, really, really nice. Um, you know, damage deal over here it seems. So uh, that's good. And uh, we'll uh, we'll check out Sonya, oh not Sonya, Lily in the next one. Check out any of the other, you know, videos if you missed them for any other kits of these units. Probably on my channel. And I'll see you guys. See you guys soon.